out on an incredible day. I'm Maya Schaefer, and along with Foreclosure Hamlet and Foreclosure Fraud, we want to know that your partici participation today makes a difference. Thanks for being part of this special event. I believe in my heart that your presence here today is helping to make a shift in consciousness that will turn this country back to what the Founding Fathers wanted us to have. Government by the people and for the people. Yes. And we do not believe that meant people were corporations. <laughs> we are here today to oppose HB 213, the unfair foreclosure bill that would deny Florida citizens their full rights to defend their properties. And we stand with the few AGs that did not sign the bank settlement. We're opposing the bank settlement also. We do thank the few legislators who have voted against the bill, and we have uh, Darren Soto here, who is the only legislator in his committee that voted against the bill. <laughs> We want to thank the sponsor of this event. Buses traveled all night up the West Coast, up the East Coast. Let's hear it, West Coast! Let's hear it, East Coast! Everybody! The sponsors of this event were Matt Widener, Jacqueline Mack, Mark Stopa, Peter Dickton, who sponsored the East Coast bus, Dan Rock, and John Page. Matt is, going, Matt is going to introduce Darren Soto. Good morning, and I want to thank everyone for being here. You know, this is the third year that Foreclosure Fraud and Lisa Hamlet from Foreclosure Hamlet right there have worked to put this event together. There's been one person in particular who's been standing with the citizens of the state of Florida to say that we're going to do right by the citizens of the state of Florida, that we're going to respect basic rights and equal justice under the law. One of the most passionate defenders in all of these years has been the gentleman standing right next to me. Representative Darren Soto represents a district in Orlando. And again, he stands up for the right of people. Let's give him a hand for standing up for the right of people. Let's support this representative who has consistently and steadfastly stood up for the rights of every single one of us. There is coming a new day in this state and across this country, and it's a new day when people like this representative right here will rise to the ranks of leadership, but they're only going to do it if people like you come out and support him like you are here today. So for all you people that are standing here behind this gentleman right here, give him your support, not just today, not just when he's standing in front of this microphone, but when you go back home into your district. Yes. Support people like Darren Soto. Thank you, Representative Soto. Appreciate it, man. Well, I think it's fitting that it's raining now because you know what? Even when the weather's stormy, we're standing up here today. And I want to thank all of you for this long trip up. Presence matters. You all being on that bus all day, all night last night, matters. Because when people see you in the hallway, when people see you in the office, they will know that your voice needs to be reckoned with. And for that, I want to first thank you all for the hard work you did coming up here today. The story is a familiar one. Most of you know it already. 2007, 2008, we had a real estate collapse, mainly because of Wall Street using unfriendly, deceptive ways to entice people into mortgages that many they couldn't afford. Now, here in the legislature, I'm proud to say I've stood with homeowners since I have been here, since that crisis began, and I'm not changing anytime soon. I can tell you that. We stopped two years in a row. The non-judicial foreclosure bill that would have basically said no way to the courthouse shut your right to access and kicked you out of your homes and that is something that i feel very confident we have convinced our peers is illegal and so for the second year in a row i can proudly say non-judicial is dead now we have a, a couple bills that have been floated through obviously you all are familiar with one 213 a bill that I had the distinction of voting against because, first of all, it changed the burden of proof for foreclosure cases, making it different than any other case that is in the civil court, which I don't think is right. The second issue that we have problems with is the abandonment issue. We already have issues with affidavits from process servers being used to determine defaults and other issues that have been inaccurate. 
to use this to say that someone has abandoned a house because they may have had to work and are not around that much, or they may have had to go and care for a loved one for a couple days here and there, is not the right way to do it. Now, I, do, I would be remiss if I did not mention one positive thing in the bill. It does take down the statute of limitations on collecting deficiency judgments from five years to two years. So while obviously there are a lot of things that I'll be opposing, and this is the reason why I'll be voting against it, there is one positive thing in the bill that you do need to be aware of. But I want to thank you, foreclosure fighters, for being here today, for rattling your sabers, for speaking your mind, and for, con for making sure that legislators here in the state of Florida understand what your position is. So I want to give you one last look, round of applause for the hard work of coming up here. And I know how far some of you have come, and I want to thank you for doing it. It makes a difference. You all make a difference. And thank you for being the wind to help me sail forward on this issue. Appreciate everybody today. Thank you.